You're watching Jack's Blade's month of Halloween. Let's get some sh** of some psychopaths. Holy. Yo dudes and dudettes, your friendly neighbor Jack's Blade is back, and today I'm just gonna go in because I have a lot to say on this new piece of dog. Can I curse within the first few seconds? Oh, I don't give a damn. Whatever. I saw the worst piece of dog. I've seen in a while and I just want to talk about it today because I I, I can't I physically can't y'all and don't worry I'll do a positive something tomorrow like I'll probably talk about Chainsaw Man and the bleach comebacks because those were beautiful and those actually made me smile and then I'll probably and again next week I have like a Tough Like the Tunes coming as well and multiple Tough Like the Tunes are coming just got to be working on them but this right here I want to give special attention to because I just I can't I freaking can't with this movie so People out there who've been following me for a while know I love horror movies. I'm a big horror buff. It is my thing. I love watching them. I love Michael Myers. I love Jason Voorhees. If you've been here a while, you know I love Jason. I love all those type of things going on. I'm watching Chucky right now on the, the TV show. I'm watching it. And I went into this new Halloween movie because I've been watching this trilogy. The first one, I really liked. Well, technically, I guess it's the second one, but this one, I, I really liked. I really liked the 2018 Halloween film. Halloween Kills was stupid and had so many things in it that I just, I, I did not like, but this, this bullshit, I, I just, I can't. I fucking, I, I don't know what it is. I just don't know how to express, like, how did you up that badly? I really don't know how these people up this badly because at the end of the last movie it was kind of hype like Michael turned into a freaking let the body sit the floor AMV like he freaking turned into like Madara from Naruto versus like the fourth shinobi uh, alliance or some shit like that. you know what I mean he was like all these people up by himself and it was hype it was like oh shit, Michael Myers actually has supernatural abilities this is fucking dope right but in this movie all right he's in hiding and so like this takes place like a like a few years afterwards because like the last one took place on October 2018 but then in our real world we had like co whatever that disease a pandemic I don't know if I can say it but like take over the world right and then like it got delayed and it's because it was supposed to be like 2018 2019 2020 I suppose or I, I don't I don't know I'm probably talking my ass I don't remember but uh they have a time skip, and it's like, okay, this is a couple years after that, like, Lori lost her mom, and uh, not lo lost her mom, lost her daughter, and so she's taking care of her granddaughter who's been in all these films, and she's just like, okay, we're just gonna chill out and just be fine, all right? Like, oh, Michael's gone, blah, 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 he's gone, KBS somewhere, he's just hiding off somewhere. And it's like, okay, okay, I'm down with that. I'm down with Michael being in the, like, a wilderness or something like that. If you saw Halloween 4, at the end of that movie, he got shot up and went into a coma for a year, and then he woke up up in like this hobo's basement and then he's like okay I'm just gonna f kill people and then like they had this whole uh, the curse of Thor I'll explain it in a later video but like um they had this whole shit where it's like oh Michael's underground he's doing whatever right and in this movie Michael is just underground in this little tunnel and it's like okay I guess that's where he's gonna snatch people I guess he's gonna come back eventually or something and I'm like okay this is gonna be cool this is gonna be f cool to see Michael go at it again no all right we get introduced to this bitch ass piece of shit, who I don't know who it f is like. So what happens is this kid was like babysitting some stupid kid at the beginning who was a dick, and I'm gonna say that kid, f them kids, because that kid deserved what got to happen to him. All right, he falls off this fucking balcony, accidentally kills him because he was trying to scare the babysitter, and so the town of Haddonfield turns on this guy, and they all start calling him like, oh, f guy, he like accidentally killed a kid or something like that, right? And so like he meets these fucking bullies, these. F Teenage bullies, and it's just like, dude, you're like in your 20s and these high schoolers and some shit like that. Little fuck up. Like, I, 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 I just, I couldn't. I hated that. And it, the, the, the way they like antagonize him is just like, because he wouldn't buy you beer. Are, are you serious? And then like the fact that they're these other kids, it's just like, what, what is going on? But okay, whatever. Lori shows up, helps him helps him get through this stuff. Oh, oh, okay, so we got Lori Strode here, and she's, like, taking care of this new kid, and then blah, blah, blah. I'm not, I'm not even gonna recap the entire fucking movie because I really don't have the attention span. I just want to talk about all the shit I hate. So he meets these bully kids again. They, the bully kids again, they push him over a ledge, and he falls off, and then Michael drags him into this, like, tunnel because he's been hiding there, like, fucking Pennywise. And so, like, he wakes up, and he's like, oh, what happened? And then Michael grabs him, chokes him, and then he, like, looks looks into his eyes that it's like you now have my evil power or something like that because murders have been happening across the town like in various ways and it's just like wait what, what what's going on here and so 
Somehow Michael put his evilness into this guy and this guy went from like being a sympathetic dude to now being the new killer of the movie and he is the killer for most of the film. Michael barely shows up in this f***ing movie and it's so f***ing stupid shit. They did the shit I f***ing despise and like there's a scene where this f***ing idiot he starts showing up and he's like I need your mask. Give me the mask. Give me the mask. Show me because he's trying to get Michael train him to do this. I'm just like what the f***? going on and this is like 40 minutes into the movie this is 40 minutes all right he's not showing up he's just he's just oh my god it's so stupid it's so frustrating because like the, the entire movie like if you have to do a sequel here's a pro tip horror movie sequels never have your villain show up later than 40 minutes into a it just doesn't work. It does not work. You have to have your killer at least 30 minutes in, all right? If you're establishing the ki killer, yeah, sure, take your time. But any past 30 minutes, that is BS. That is freaking BS, and you know it, all right? And I hate when they did that, because, like, we've already established Michael doing this stuff, and he's training this kid. He's tra somehow training this kid, like, okay, I guess I'll show you how I kill people. I'll show you how I do this. He has this rusty-ass kitchen knife. And then he just, he, he, he's just like, oh, yeah, go out and kill all these people. And the kid just starts killing these random fucking people, I guess, associated with Lori and, like, his girl, Lori's granddaughter or some shit like that. And it's like, why? Why? Who is this new guy? I fucking hate when horror films do this, all right? It's one of the reasons I hate Friday the 13th part 5 and Friday thir uh, Jason goes to hell all right because Friday the 13th part 5 this is not Jason this is bitch ass Roy Burns all right this is not Jason he will never be Jason stop using this motherfucker like A and B's when you do like those Jason things I hate that shit I hate that shit and then like we have this I'm sorry I'm getting passionate all right I just I really love horror movies and this is one of those things where I'm just like what the but like they also did this uh, in Jason goes to hell where Jason is in the movie, but his soul what what the f shut up Someone's texting me. I'm trying to talk about this shit. I'm keeping that in. I don't care I'm just going in all right. So anyways they in Jason goes to hell They had this whole thing where uh, Jason gets destroyed and he puts his souls in different people. It's just like okay That's one thing, but I want to see Jason as Jason killing people not no f like body swap bullshit. I really don't like that. It's the same thing with um even that Candyman movie that came out last year. Remember that? Like I went into it expecting to see Tony Todd. All right, Tony Todd is Candyman. He is the slave. But they went with like, oh no, so Candyman is all these different people because blah blah. blah. And I get the message and stuff like that. I don't give a f your stupid messages. I want Tony f Todd. I want him as the f Candyman. Like. That simple. Like, I don't care if he was older. Like, just do CGI or just, he's a ghost, all right? You don't have to show him as he is. He is a ghost. You could just be digital, all right? Like, just special effects or something like that. I don't care, but like, just putting in people who aren't, I just, I, 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 I digress. But like, I hate when horror movies do that. I really hate, like, unless it's like a reboot or a remake or like a different thing altogether, then that's fine. Like, Scream, it works as Scream because it makes sense. These people are just regular different people. Like, but with anything else, it's just like, I, I, I can't stand it. I can't stand it. And so, in this movie, this fake ass bitch is going around killing all these people. I have no idea who they are. Like, like, I mean, I do know who they are, but like, he's just going around killing all these people. And he's just like, oh yes, I'm training. Oh, Michael, trade me, do all this stuff. And then at the end of the movie, you know, some of the, in the scenes in the trailers and stuff like that, you see, he takes Michael's mask. They get into this wrestling match, which makes no sense, because in the last movie, Michael was just like, oh, I could do this. And this Michael, I don't care what the creator said, or David Gordon Green said, this guy is somehow superhuman. Like, well, the stuff he did in Halloween 1 and 2, or like, not Halloween 1 and 2, Halloween 2018 and Halloween Kills, shows that he is not mortal like that, but... I digress. In this movie, this kid's just like wrestling with him. I guess all that beating at the end of the second movie took it out of him. And so he's like, no, give it to me. Give it to me. And then he like takes a mask off Michael. And Michael's just like, because uh, 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 Michael's walking around like, oh, God, all this entire film. And it's just stupid. It's so stupid. It's so idiotic. And the thing is, like, I, 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 I couldn't stand it. Because like at the end of the movie, like this kid's just becoming more and more evil. He's just becoming more and more like 
polluted in the brain to become like an evil version of Myers. And it's just like, where is this fucking coming from? Like, I understand certain storylines like Curse of Thorn and they even tried it with like Michael's niece in like Halloween 4. Like, oh, she like almost stabbed, but then they like completely changed it when they went to Halloween 5. Like she would just see like visions of him, but she wasn't like killing people herself. And so... I, I, I just was like, why though? Why, why, why? And so, the thing that pisses me off is at the end of the movie, this this mother he dies, right? I, I, I don't give a I'm spoiling the movie. I really don't care. Like, you shouldn't watch this. You really shouldn't watch this shit. Unless you want to dunk on with friends. But uh, yeah, he like, like, freaking he kills himself because he's like if I can't have your granddaughter no one will because they were boning and then like Michael shows up and is like oh let me go and take my mask but then he apparently didn't kill himself and he wakes up and he's like oh no I want the mask I want the mask and then like Michael just snaps his neck and so then Lori and Michael have this like final battle and it's intense but it's nowhere near as intense as the one that they had in 2018's one that one was hype the one in 2018 that was a good movie like as a matter of fact I think you should just watch 2018 cut it off and be like okay that's ended Day he burned up but in this one they did it and they're having like this fucking like fight and it's like crazy and then she like is able to incapacitate him by stapling him to a like a, a table and then she like she pierces his hands she breaks his leg and then she's like she does this slow thing like oh, you know what Michael for years you've been my boogeyman and I'm gonna fucking kill you and then like Michael rips his hand off and then he fucking, like like grabs her throat and then she slits his throat and then she's like do it do it and you have all these flashbacks like Lori's gonna die again by the way Lori has died twice in this series before because remember in the four to six continuity because that's a different universe she died in a car crash and then in h2o to resurrection she got stabbed in the back so it's like oh if she dies I've already seen this twice before or heard of this twice before so it's not gonna be hitting as hard as people think and then her fucking granddaughter comes in and she like breaks Michael's arm and then they start like slitting his throat and then I remember watching this entire thing just going decapitate him decapitate him cut the head from the body F him up because it's like this is clearly Michael Myers like he's got all the burns the scars all that stuff it's not like the end of H2O where it's like they faked you out even though H2O would have been a much better ending uh, they had this whole thing where it's like oh he he he's dead he he he's actually gone now and he's like they slit his throat and he's lying there quote unquote dead even though we know he would have probably got back up and then they take his body they put it on the car they drive around and then they're like yeah Michael's dead and they're like all of Haddonfield comes out and they're like yeah yeah he's finally gone finally gone and they put his ass in a Meat grinder. They turn his ass into hamburger patty, which is cool because it shows that he finally does die. So if they have anything after this, they really have to go with the thing. Because I'll say this: this is a movie. They actually killed off Michael. They actually killed him off. He's gone. He's dead. Apparently, until Hollywood wants to bring him back and say some bullshit like, "Oh, his soul could possess people" or something like that. I guess that's what they're hinting with with what they did with the fucking kid. But it was just shit. It was shit, and it was just like, it's not satisfying. This does not feel satisfying at all. This does not feel like a f great finale at all. I was like pissed off at most of the thing. I didn't care about most of the characters. And the, the legacy characters I wanted to see, you moved on to these new bitches. I don't give a f about. Who the f are these bitches? I don't want them near me. What the f like, I don't care. I do not care. I don't want them anywhere near me. It's just like, I, I, it's trash. It's fucking trash. I can't take it. It is. It is. It's trash. But, um... They do this entire thing, uh, like leading up, like at the end, like, oh yes, he's he's gone, blah blah blah, and I, I'm gonna live a happy life and all this stuff, and it's just like, okay, Halloween ends, and I don't know if there's a stinger, all right, because I turn it off, I turn it off. There could be a stinger. I could be talking about this. I don't think there's a stinger, okay? I don't. I don't care if they show him like his bones all manufacturing back together or something like that, like some like insane regeneration or something like that. I don't care. I really, really don't care. And this is the worst Halloween. I don't care. This is the worst Halloween film. I don't. I, I, I don't think that's even a competition. No, it really is. Like, because Halloween Resurrection, which a lot of people think is the worst, that is a dumb fun movie. If you get drunk with friends and dunk on that film, you have a fun time with it. Buster Rhymes, Michael Myers, stupid as hell, stupid as hell. And so that movie was in the category of so bad, it's it's funny. This movie is just so bad, it's like, fuck you. Fuck you. Okay, that's what this movie is. I really, I fucking hated it. Like, honestly, this was worse than Hot Rob Zombie's Halloween 2. 
The, like, and Halloween 2 from Rob Zombie was unanimously, like, that one was, like, considered one of the worst worst because it was just so bad. It was fucking awful. Like, if you've seen Halloween 2 by Rob Zombie, like, there's just so much shit where it's just like that. But at least it was Michael doing majority of the killings in that movie, no matter what, even if he's, like, talking to a magic horse and fighting, like, a fucking... Uh, like, he, he's, like, got this hobo thing, and Michael, in that film, actually talked as an adult, which was something you just, you don't see, like, so I'm glad they didn't have that whole thing happen, but yeah, that movie, I would watch that ten times over this shit, I would, and even f***ing Halloween Kills, Halloween Kills, I literally did, did the Thanos thing, like, you know, perhaps I was too harsh on you, perhaps I was too harsh on you, and yeah, it was, it was bullshit, I hate this movie I think it was garbage and I just wanted to do this rap video yeah wow I just ranted for like what 16 minutes yeah I, I, I did not like the film I did not like it I thought it was shit I did not like this film I think it was a piece of shit I don't want to watch anymore or something like that um what else what else what else what else do I want to say yeah, cause I, I just, I just, I, I just was, I, I was not expecting it to be as bad as Halloween Kills. I just wanted it to be somewhat comparable. Like I understand, cause I love Halloween Three. All right, you know Halloween Three, season of the witch, where Michael was not in that film. It was more of an anthology thing, and they even have that sort of similar text. And I was like, okay, yeah, this is. I can. I, I like Halloween season, which uh, now a days, just because I take it for what it is. But this movie, since it's trying to be connected and like do whatever, I f hate it. I really did not like this film. I thought it was trash. I thought it was garbage. Yo, and I do not want to see it anymore. Like I just, I, I did not like it. Oh damn. But um, if you saw it, tell me what you thought. And if you did see it um don't watch it watch something better watch something good you know what? i'm gonna talk about something nice i'll talk about chainsaw man or something tomorrow and then like this uh bleach something like that or like whatever i'll talk about something i enjoy just to even it out because i don't like to be this negative even though it's making me really passionate about it because it's just I, I i couldn't i I couldn't. I just, uh, I, I did not like this movie. I thought it was absolute trash. Like I saw that it had a 60% from the audience rating on Rotten Tomatoes. I was like, F you. All right, F you. I'm sorry. I usually do not do that. I'm usually like, everyone can have their own opinions, but no, no. F off with that shit. Uh, uh, yeah, this is probably, this is how I'd rank all the Halloween movies so far for level of entertainment for me. Like, cause even Halloween 2007, I don't think that was a bad film. Uh, there was parts in it I don't like, like for instance, the unrated version has this stupid, um, SA scene I'm not gonna talk about, but like, like compared to the theatrical version where he like breaks out like the Hulk. That one was so much better, but like, ugh, I, I digress. But if you made this far in the video, type in Mikey Deserve Better, and also check out my free course I'm giving away just to help people out. It's like a free thing just to help people, because uh, even though I have a new program out, Hybrid Theory, which I designed to help a bunch of people out, uh, new Tough Like Tunes are coming. Be sure to hit that bell icon and subscribe, and I'll probably talk about Chainsaw Man, and, um, uh, bleach and stuff like that, just like stuff I enjoy. But yeah, like let me know what you think in the comments down below, or let me know who your personal favorite horror slasher is, or just tell me what your favorite horror thing is. Like, cause I know a lot of people watching this are like, I don't actually watch horror, I just want to see you get upset. So yeah, like if you like, I don't know, favorite anything. Tell me what's your favorite anything. I don't care. Just show me some positivity in the comments section. I just, I need it. Uh, but remember, like I always say, keep calm. Booyah on. Yeah. And don't forget, moment time. I'll probably have, uh, again, next week, I'm going to try and get that Tough Like Tunes out so y'all can enjoy it. But uh, yeah, yeah. F this fucking movie. I hate it. This. <laughs>